Okay, hi there. Welcome to another in our series of 25 Mark Essay Questions uh, using the style of questions set by the Edexcel board where students at A-level for paper three are asked to, to take on a, a synoptic essay style question. This video is going to look at uh, policies to address financial market failure. Here's the question. Evaluate the micro and macroeconomic policies that could be used to correct financial market failures in the UK. First of all, it'd be good to define financial market failure. It's when the money, the equity or the bond markets, any kind of financial market, fails to achieve an efficient and or an equitable outcome. And financial market failure can lead to both economic and social costs. There are, ex there are externalities from financial market failure. And uh, these costs include greater macroeconomic stability, and also a loss of trust and confidence in, in the basic financial institutions of a country. Financial market failures are quite wide, wide ranging. They can include rigging the market, uh, speculative bubbles in, in asset prices, uh, significant information failures, including asymmetric information, and also a lack of competition between competing suppliers in the industry. So let's have a look at how you might shape an answer to this particular question. We're looking to build four points, two micro and two macro, to make the points clearly, to build some analysis and some application. There might be some data response extracts you can use, and then to evaluate each of the points in turn. Notice here on the left hand side that I've, I've highlighted in red one micro policy. This is a great bit of advice for the exam. Make it really clear to the person who's marking your exam script that you are focusing on a microeconomic policy or a macro one, depending on where you're on the essay. So signposting is a very good exam skill to develop. I recommend you use it. So one micro policy to address financial market failure, look, we're going back to the question, uh, would be perhaps to provide more licenses for smaller challenger banks to enter the banking sector. Uh, this policy would improve or increase what we call the contestability of retail commercial banking and therefore in theory limit or reduce the existing monopoly power of the established bank such as HS HSBC and Barclays and then develop the chain of reasoning if there's more competition in the market that could lead to better outcomes for consumers perhaps lower charges and overdrafts or perhaps even better interest rates for people saving their money then evaluate your point so, however, is a signposting word. However, we know from behavioural economics that uh, even if there is more competition in the market, consumers, savers, borrowers, have a strong default choice when deciding which bank they're going to use. Uh, that default can be extremely strong. And the inconvenience and the time involved in switching accounts, for example, uh, can mean that challenger banks, such as Virgin Money or Metro Bank, oftentimes find it hard to achieve the economies of scale needed to compete effectively. That's quite a good evaluation point, and in particular it brings in a bit of behavioural economics into your financial economics answer. And then build another macro point. The key here is to always build your points, explain, then evaluate. Make the point, analyse, evaluate. Notice here again the signposting. A second micro policy would be to introduce some price capping perhaps on the interest rates charged by uh, loans companies such as uh, Wonga, for example, or the money company. So payday loans companies often charge very high interest rates, very high annual percentage rates to families, which can lead to mounting debt problems and financial distress. A cap, if you like a ceiling on interest charges, would lower the burden of servicing debt for some of the poorest households. So you can make a case for saying that the cap is a, is a policy designed to limit monopoly profits and also to, to achieve a greater degree of equity and fairness in financial services. But again, evaluate the, 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 evaluate the point you've made. A possible problem with this policy is, is a nice signposting phrase to use in the exam. So a possible problem with this policy is that lenders will all charge the maximum cap rate rather than compete at lower interest rates. They could also, if they can't charge a particular rate of interest, they could also perhaps introduce some extra charges as a way of getting around the price ceiling. And that's, of course, a potential cause of, of regulatory failure in the market. 
But what we've done here in the essay is we've just made two points. We've identified two micro policies. Price capping introduce new competition into the market. Those are microeconomic policies. We've analysed them and we've evaluated them. But of course, in this type of essay, you're going to need to produce some macro points as well. Notice my signposting in red here. One macro policy would be for the Bank of England to impose a higher liquidity ratio. And that's defined as the ratio of liquid assets held by a bank to their total assets. Build the explanation. If banks are required to hold more liquid reserves, then they'll have a stronger base of capital to help them withstand the future downturn, possible recession, which could lead to rising loan defaults and bad debts. So a better capital base, if you like, provides a buffer stock for banks, and that will help to promote financial and macroeconomic stability for the UK in the long term. The long term, of course, is quite important in terms of your analysis and evaluation. However, evaluation word, there's a risk that imposing strict controls on bank lending using capital ratios or liquidity ratios uh, might limit the amount of money that banks are able to, to lend to businesses who are looking for, for finance. And that in turn could hold back business investment, which will hurt long run aggregate supply. So it's basically controlling bank lending can could potentially hamper the supply of credit to businesses. Second macro point concerns the interest rate. Now this chart shows what's happened to the base rate in blue in the UK in recent times. And you can see for many, many years now, the base rate of interest has been exceptionally low by historical standards. Other interest rates have come down, including mortgage rates. But notice that the rate of interest on savings deposits has been at or around or below 1% for more than a decade or so. So another macro policy would be for central banks, including the Bank of England, to return gradually towards normal levels of interest rates. In other words, move away from ultra-low interest rates. Here's the explanation. The base rate set by the Bank of England has been below 1% since 2009. Ultra-low policy rates encourages speculative activity in property and equity markets and can lead to an unsustainable bubble with asset prices, house prices, for example, way above their fair value. And that's hinting that's a cause of macroeconomic financial instability and failure. But the downside of returning to higher interest rates of between, let's say, 3 to 5 percent would be that household debt is at historically high levels. Uh, millions of people are exposed or one water sharp increases in borrowing costs. So therefore, the central bank needs to be very cautious in raising interest rates at the present time. And I suppose that's where the Bank of England is likely to be. So again, we're trying to build here some macro policies, liquidity ratios, higher interest rates in order to prevent excessive growth of credit and asset price bubbles, both causes of market failure. There are diagram opportunities. I think the obvious one will be a kind of monopoly diagram, perhaps showing how a cap on interest rates could, could impact on the profits of the payday lenders who charge very high interest rates on their loans. So what we're doing here is we're building together a little portfolio of videos on the 25 marker for Paper 3 for Red Excel. Uh, so just type in Paper 3 Red Excel into YouTube and you'll get to uh, the videos that we produce as they arrive. And I'll also post up details of every new video on my Twitter feed, which is at tutor 2 Jeff. OK, for the moment, thank you very much for joining in this video.